Hello, let's do Wordle number 937, and for the chemistry theme, Ball2536 suggested table for the periodic table, and ionic for ionic bonds. And I thought I'd do a little bit, little bit of a blurb on ionic versus covalent bonds. Just, I don't know, I feel like these videos could be educational in random ways. <laughs> feel free to skip ahead to the solve if you don't want this, but it's, it'll be short. So ionic bonds, basically both ionic and covalent bonds are ways that atoms form molecules. Ionic bonds are when one atom gives or transfers an electron to another one, and that makes them both ions, that's why it's called an ionic bond, and by becoming ions, one of them is uh, negative and one of them is positive, and they attract each other and they bond that way. Uh, whereas a covalent bond is more about sharing electrons, so it's two atoms that are kind of in an unstable state, but by sharing an electron between them, uh, suddenly they become in a more stable state. And by becoming in a more stable state, that is a lower uh, energy state. And so it takes energy to then separate them. And so because it takes energy to separate them, they are essentially bonded until that energy comes in to separate them. So that's kind of interesting, where you know one of them is sort of that negative positive attraction that's sort of a direct force, whereas the other one is more... It's harder to think about with covalent bonds, but it's really... Hey, I'm very comfy here <laughs> with, with my sharing of electrons. We're both much more comfortable together. So you're going to have to put in energy in order to create that instability again. So I thought that was a neat way to describe that. So table for the periodic table, which organizes the elements and ionic as one of the two kinds of bonds between elements. All right, this is kind of interesting because we got to we got to put that T somewhere and I'm not 100% like, could it be like an STE word? That doesn't make sense. Um, could be like an O-U-T-E word? Huh. Don't like that. Double O-T-E, I also don't really like. I'm trying to think how this T works. Hmm. What other consonant could go there? Ooh, you know what it is? I bet it's forte. We've had other musical terms before. Forte, uh, in fact, pianos, is, piano is short for piano forte, because piano is quiet and forte is loud. And what was cool about the piano is that, um, well, it wasn't forte anyway, but what's cool about the piano is <laughs> that the harder you press, the louder it gets compared to harpsichord, which plucked the string. And so you had no control over how loud it would be. Um, whereas the piano hits the string with a hammer. And so you can hit it harder or softer. So R-O something T-E. Um, root, is it that simple? It is that simple. So I, I thought of R-O-U-T-E and did not think of root. <laughs> oh, well. I got to, I got to explain two things today, which I love explaining things. Um, hopefully you like hearing me explain things. <laughs> All right, let's spin the wheel of themes. See what tomorrow brings us. All right, a junk food theme suggested by Cable Wire. So we're, we're getting through these older ones. That's nice. Uh, two words related to junk food in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.